Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Candor Vlog. So today we are gonna do a day in the life video, but it's gonna be a special one. Today we are gonna attend a one of the most enthusiastic event that I always wanna do. It's an annual car show event in downtown Toronto. It's not uh, free to for the admission. It requires tickets. And uh, before moving along, I just wanna request to you guys: if you like my content, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. Uh, and I need your support a lot to grow my subscriber base as well So please keep sharing with your friends and family members so that we can grow together and also keep exploring the content like that So let's explore together for the event First of all, I always want to do this kind of uh, uh, event because uh, it brings forth and like all the development right now going on, on within the different uh, industrial base and as we are gonna go on to the automobile uh, event today so i just want to explore more on to what the r d structure right now the company or the brands has been putting on uh, with regard to the technical aspect that uh, they are making in right um, specifically talking about the tesla as tesla came into the market they have revolutionized the hybrid or electric electric automobile vehicle structure so in the same way i just want to go and see how all those different brands are moving a step ahead towards those hybrid models or um, electrical models aspect so let's explore together and enjoy the view all along Oh, I always like this view whenever I need to go through uh, the Union Station to downtown Toronto or go nearby the CN Tower or Distillery Street District. It's always an amazement when you go down through this pile of pavements or whatever you say. And specifically crossing, crossing this bridge and just made over the roll trails rail trails it's always amusing and to see all the view along with that sea and tower it's always feel like you are back home and i like the girl that she's enjoying her stuff there so we reached to the point uh, it's a direct entrance from the adjoining uh, bridge that we are crossing so at that point i was just so confused because a lot of people are leaving the event and i was just entering and i reached on the last day so i was so confused if the events is already been over or i am reaching late but uh, as i entered i see yeah, there are a lot of people still there so people are very enthusiastic about this kind of events when come to that even people are coming in couple in family even with their small kids everyone is so um, amused with all those car models and everyone just want to try on that so this is the first brand that we came along so it's none other than the Ainos there is Kia let's explore it together Oh, those RGBs in the down bumper. I love that because I like RGBs when I, even on my, on my desk setup, I put all the RGBs down there. It looks quite aesthetic and also quite appealing to the eyes, you know. It's a head turner in a way you can say. And all these mini SUVs model. People are more into that because when it comes to spacious thing and uh, family aspect people love that because it's provide them tremendous help regarding their spacious thing and when you're going on a vacation or you're going to buy your stuff on the market yeah that's there it helps a lot and as we are talking about kia so kia is known now putting more of the effort of their r d into hybrid or electrical um, models so this one, this color, this bronze gold color had paid, taken my attention a lot. Um, not this one, the another one, because it looked like a cyberpunk trunk. Not even the cyber truck, it's cyberpunk trunk. 
it looks like that the futuristic one and as i was telling you kia right now they're putting their step ahead in the game with tesla and they are putting most of their revenue and, and their r and d's into building those uh, electrical models so i think future is bright there Okay, time to move along from to the another panel of the brand from Kia to Subaru. So Subaru, as you know, it's quite famous within the family units because they develop a lot of uh, mini SUVs that are quite comfortable and sturdy as well as quite spacious when it comes to your daily uh, stuffing that you want to use in it. So people are just amazed around they are just inquiring a lot about their pricing and everything because these are all basically the newest models that they have launched in there and introduced so people are quite amazed with that with their all the aspect of their brands they are loving it and even with different colors there is one of their uh, i can say most enthusiastic uh, SUVs on the display especially with those rotating pedal they have put on yeah, I, it's just a head turner for me like oh especially for kid as well as you know quite amusing when it comes to that I just love it when people put on this kind of effort for their marketing as I was talking, they have different range of their SUVs when it comes to that. People were like, especially the family structure people who are there, they're quite um, looking forward to this brand. And there, it's, there are a little bit of different models for our cars, which is especially is not available to us. So it's quite good to move along from there. <laughs> oh, and when we move along from Subaru section, one of the things that caught my eye is happening is Jeep, the brand that is known for producing one of the sturdiest and um one of the most durable i can say um jeeps in the town so they are doing a quite a good uh, exploration or expedition i can say that they are allowing people to have experience of those uh, mountaineers tracking and all those sturdy paths that they develop for their jeeps and they are just uh, allowing people to get along on those expedition and they are not putting on any charges on those and there's quite a line on that but i like that that they are providing that kind of um experience to everyone but there is quite a line and i don't want to waste my time just standing in line like for one or two hours and rather than i prefer more into exploring things around so i did that because i reached at three and the event is getting over within six so uh, i try to catch up as much as i can so moving along to that, it's just still the Jeep section as you can see. They are not even developing those um, those uh, sturdy mountaineer type of kind of Jeep, but they are also building those uh, hybrid, um, I can say hybrid models for their uh, SUVs and even this mini car, which is quite famous with girls on that event. Because every girls are just trying to, or woman trying to sit inside, take a selfie with it, and trying to have experience. Oh, this is my future car now. <laughs> yeah, it's quite famous with Indians when it comes to cheap. 
because it feels like they are back to their home for Mahindra brand that they use for the Jeeps. So that's the same thing. But it's quite expensive here, I can say, when it comes to their the Jeep here. And this is quite the head turner for me because it was like I was just walking through the path and just I seen this car and it was like well, Lightning McQueen, you are here. I want to see you. So I was just trying to explore him from from head to the toe, how it looks, and it's quite a head turner for everyone. Even every people of every age or group, they are just looking into it. It's one of the antique one that's just sitting around the corner but a quite a, a turner for everyone it looks quite futuristic for me yeah it takes a lot of money to get this one for sure and from there when i was just moving along there is in the front of jeep there is tesla so we are gonna explain that as well So here we move along, so there you see one of the cyberpunk trucks we have seen before. Now this is cyber truck. Quite a controversial one which people are always waiting from since 2018 launch that it's gonna launch on the market and it's already five years but now as they launch it people are now not that much enthusiastic about it. At that point it was but not now. But it's still, I want to have a look how it looks. It looks like a, uh, like if I can say a Batman Batmobile or like an alien truck. Not even look like a human made thing. <laughs> That's why they say Elon Musk is from Mars, I guess. And there is one with a lot of sponsor stickers. It's like Hot Wheels for kids. <laughs> yeah quite amusing one now we have moved to one of the most beautiful car developer section i say it's hyundai and you know hyundai is generally known for making beautiful cars because their interior their exteriors it's gonna be amazing even kids are loving it right so as i was telling you guys hyundai is one of the most beautiful models when it comes to their aesthetic thing but only the thing that i don't like is their car requires a very high maintenance and those the auto parts when you want to do those things they're quite expensive and you are not able to do that so in that way i can say it's better to have a head on that because it makes a lot of difficult things when it comes to that because uh, you don't want to make your bank go on that when it comes to maintenance things. So it's better to move along from Hyundai to Nissan, which is basically known for their sturdy cars and a sports car as well. And I think I have explored one of those Formula One cars there. So let's explore it together, man. As I told you, People came with a family, even with the small babies. So people are very enthusiastic about this event. Literally at this point, I want to see more, like what more they can offer to us. Like along with those hybrid ones, those electrical car models, what more they can offer. And at that point, when it comes to Nissan or the other models, they are never gonna disappoint to you because at the same point, they displayed the Formula One model. It's just amazing. You can see in the back, in the display, that it's one of the models that they use for their Formula One race. So as we are exploring along for the Nissan models, so as you can see, um, there has been a different type of model they have displayed, uh, whether it comes to their normal cars, their Formula One cars, 
their SUVs, their sports cars, sports edition. When Nissan is just everywhere. It's like when it comes to every aspect of car you want to look for, Nissan is the brand to go for. But at the same time, they are a little bit higher on your pocket, right? But the quality that you're gonna get, yeah, it's unmatchable. So I think Nishan was one of the um, good brands that I have explored and I was quite amazed by the aspect that they has been doing this for quite a while and along more on to that, the thing is they have put on display every kind of model that you want to see. And when I was just crossing across this guy, like, I want to see what is the engine, how this car is driving so much horsepower. It catch up my attention. I just stopped for a while and I have a glance. It was like amazing. Yeah, I think so. In the same way as I get amazed about those technical stuff regarding those uh, gadgets about smartphones or laptops or the other stuff in the same way people who are just freak about the automobile thing they are just cra always get crazy about their structure their body their technological advancement as well as those engine or the horsepower they are using it and this is one of the as I, we are talking about the nissan this is one of the most amazing models they have on display so this is the one of the models i think that they has been looking forward to to who wants to go on adventure sports or for the adventure activities uh, so this is one of those models right so now let's move along to the other models um we are we're back on the hyundai section but uh, hyundai is also putting as in the similar fashion what kia is doing for their r d's on those um basically whatever they are putting in their r d's and revenues for the uh, hybrid and electrical models same way uh, even hyundai is doing that but not on to that top level i can say but yeah they are they have put some of the cars that are very good on display but in a similar way they are putting more on transitioning and to putting the hybrid rather than electrical models right now because hyundai elantra or hyundai other models right now they are just coming up with the newer models as a hybrid model right where they can use uh, the ethical fuel system as well as the hybrid electrical system as well so this is the new edition of the Elantra and look, looks ravishing I can tell you from outside inside whatever ambience you can say but at the same point as I told you before they are not sturdy and durable one for a long term usage when it comes to that and when it comes to their auto parts it's quite expensive one and this model as well it looks good in color so i can say they have a very good preference on the colors when it comes to that it's light blue and when you go on to that side it's a lighter green one so their models are really good even this red one it's quite amazing especially with their those uh, head headlights i can say they are the strip ones rather than those on to the bumpers on the side it looks quite futuristic and everyone is amazing loving that so everyone is trying to explore as much as they can nice to see that how people are showed up and loving all those events uh, i thought that people are not gonna turn up this much but at the same point it feels bad, best to see that how people are just not into attending those only uh, fun stuff or entertainment kind of uh, events or the concerts but people like to put their money even still to attend these kind of events as well so it feels really good so this is one of the infinity models that we are talking in before now moving along there is only one model of this they have put by this brand and it's lamborghini if you're a man in black then you got your car it's totally looks like a matte black one.
and I can say this is the superhero model. For me, it's a definitely a Batman car. If anybody wants to challenge me on that, I can say it because it does look like a Batman car with those um, lighting effect they have produced inside all around. I know the model, it's Infinity, they're launching it in a good way, but still, it looks like a Batman car to me. And if you guys have any doubt on this or if you guys not feel in the same way just comment uh, just provide your comments and say whatever you feel like for this car for me it's look like a batman car definitely if it's, if it's not a batmobile definitely bruce wayne is gonna drive this in a normal basis because he's a freaking millionaire not millionaire even billionaire so he's gonna drive it on a normal basis so this car is definitely a batman car After moving along to the infinity side, we went on to the other side where mostly there are not a lot of people around, but it's good and amazing to see uh, that people are still investing on this kind of stuff. So this is one of the models that has been introduced in uh, last year. I have read about it in most of the articles. So this is the brand which is Arrow, which is collaborating with uh, the government of Ontario to launch an electric hybrid model for this so it was quite amazing to look on to that so yeah so it is in-house project from Go government of canada see they're in the display but most what most i like is this one this three-wheeler tuk tuk i can say a small one which you can drive easily i think if it comes to the market i'm gonna buy it's very cheap i think in a way it will be cheaper to drive it but it will be a good one good option for the people who just cannot afford a big car or so the car but they want to drive small things so there is two well this is the star of the show i can say i haven't thought that i'm gonna see a robot dog over there because it's a car event but to my, to my amusement, I was able to see it. I always seen it on some of the news articles or in the news or whether in some of the videos. It's a long, uh, older robo dog, I can say, but still it's quite fascinating to look into in person because you know that I'm a tech geek, especially whenever it comes to this kind of stuff. It always amused me and I love to see this kind of stuff. So help me to grow my channel again if you if you're still liking this video please like this video subscribe to my channel and provide your support for that and this is definitely one of the batman batmobile i can say i know it's mclaurin but at the same time yes it feels like batmobile their design looks like batmobile and I thought that it's gonna end at the end, end point for me and I was just giving up because I was tired exploring all the stuff but at the end I when I saw this McLaurin section I was like okay now the party started man I need to explore it more and closer as much as I can so I just taken out my mobile and I started zooming in zooming out whatever I can do the best to capture them and you know that whenever you see this kind of car it feels like it's your dream car and it's and you're gonna have it someday but at the end of the day you know that you are not making that much money you are not able to make it but still feels good to look into that and especially i have a awe struck for a kind of a orange model because whenever i see some kind of a black and orange stuff on any kind of uh, things i was just attracted to that like if i say about a galaxy s24 ultra they launched the orange model with a black um 
frames so it looks really good at the same point i wanted that model but i didn't get that in the same way i wanted this car and i am not getting it <laughs> so the orange model it looks quite spooky but at the same time it's attractive and a head turner mclaren what they are known for one of the best sports luxury brand okay. so after that i thought i need to go out of this and all the event is over but i seen that people are going downstairs and i want to explore what is happening down there because i i have paid i have paid the damn amount of money to come into this event so i want to explore it so let's explore together what is happening in the downstairs and why people are crowded over there so to my amusement and to my shock we have the hot meals section which is the <laughs> um heaven for kids i can say this is one of the models that i used to have when i was a child and this is the hot wheels i think you guys can also recognize those things and here one of the yeah wiper edition they have kept so those are the hot wheels generally they made it for the man made size so it looks really good so i love that I, and i got the chance to see it so at the end of the day uh i was tired and the event time was getting over it's around six and it's time to say goodbye and head back to home but at the same time the same opposite thing is happening when i was coming a lot of people are going and right now when i was leaving a lot of people are coming in and i was amused whether that it is not the last day and the event is supposed to be off at six still a lot of people are coming in so i don't care so at this point i was just trying to leave for the house before that i was trying to reach out to the union station's cafeteria so that i can eat something and then leave for the home and before that let's enjoy the ambience around as well because i always love the union station structure it looks like one of the grand central station from new york i know it's small one this one but still looks good and just when you head out to this side of the front street it's always amusing to look on to those corporate buildings and all those historical towers yeah it's one of the best places to look around and have a view let's head back to the cafeteria to eat something so after that i reached out to the cafeteria i had my food and at the wait and there is some wait time for my train so i was just sitting over there relaxing eating and then after a while when the time comes i will start moving ahead towards my home and catch up my train let's relax a bit So after eating and waiting for my train for like 40 minutes or something then I decided to head back out and see what is the timing for my train and if it's the time right now then it's the right time that I've taken up my shoes and started walking and then move ahead to go out and catch up my train and head back home. There you go. It's the time. We are on time right let's move ahead so finally a bad a bit adieu as you can say hasta la vista for downtown toronto for amazing event that i always wanted to attend and you can see people are just in a hurry always to catch up the train but when you know you have the time in your hand and the train is not gonna go away so why you want to run all the time just enjoy walk slow take your time enjoy the music and reach and sit nobody's gonna chasing you and nobody's in chase on you right so yeah at the end of the day i was just 
putting an end on this amazing day that I have a very productive one and I can say whatever I wanted to attend from quite a long while I attended the event and that that day I just want to say goodbye to that point and yes still I want to reiterate again if you like this content please like this video subscribe to my channel and provide your support